everybody welcome back to the iron and oak sawmill came home today and deb said hey let's go cut some bar tops black walnut bar tops so put up a nice size log here it's about 21 on the big end 17 and a half 18 on the small end and nine and a half feet long uh, we're going to get this loaded up going to slice some nice bar tops and we'll show you the grain let's get going Okay, as always, we have the pith leveled to the mill. And what that's gonna allow us to do is keep the grain as straight as possible. That's one and two. When we get to the pith, try to keep that pith in one slab rather than diagonally through a couple of slabs. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna cut our reference cut first, flip it over. We have a nice stable base then, and we'll get to milling the rest of them. All nine quarter slabs. Hey, did I mention? That's gonna be cutting these.
haven't seen us cut walnut before, it's green when you first cut it. And slowly it'll turn a nice shade of deep, rich brown. And we will be looking at some really pretty walnut. Let's go ahead and get our water splash ready. All right, first slab up. You can tell near the end here, the oxygen's been getting into this in from the end cut and turning this a nice deep brown. So it gives you a little preview of what this is gonna look like when the rest of it catches up. But man, as always, never disappointing black walnut. He's gonna make some nice bar tops. It's gonna do some uh, book matching, I think, on this possibly. Yep. Wow, I don't see any curl in it just yet. Man, it's a really nice grain. And just and as you sand this smooth, as you go through this, if you haven't, if you haven't been much for woodworking, but you like watching saw milling, all a lot of details around these these knot holes here. And in the grain itself, a lot more will pop out as you go. But man, this is some really pretty stuff right here. Pennsylvania black walnut. I think it's the best. <laughs> Call me biased, but I think it's the best. Nice stuff. Let's go ahead and get this slab off and get on to the next one. All right. We did have a split in the pith of the tree. We knew that. And I think it opened up a little bit more as we cut. But we did manage to capture the pith in this one slab. Pop this open, or let it pop open by itself. Poxy River pour. Okay, no, you always have an option when it comes to this stuff. Wow, you can see a lot of oxygen or air got up into this crack in here because a lot of this was already turning brown, but it's what you call the juvenile wood or the early growth wood, pith wood. This is the stuff will have a lot of character to it, but it's unstable. Like I said, the best you could do with this is let it split in half and then go ahead and bow tie, bow tie it back together, epoxy it back together, whatever. But again, a lot of interesting grain popping out of here, that's for sure. I think this is a branch started. I don't know if that's Chuck. Chuck, this nub right here. It's an old branch nub. Okay, I was Very right. Very early. That's like in the first couple inches of growth of the tree. That I do like. Do this. I know how old this tree is? No, I do not. I did I not like bother this to measure too. it. Has that nice, is cool. That is cool nice right screen, here. Yeah. That green. I mean, it's hard to see all the detail right now. I like that. It's hard to see the detail now, but it'll pop out soon enough nice right. let's go ahead and get into that next slab I think we saved the best one for last. That's nice. That's a pretty great one. That's nice. I like this part right here, folks. A nice 
nice cathedral grain right here yep. they call that a little bit down in there the white the log got a little wave to it, a little little sweep to it but it's gonna look nice let's go ahead and get some water on there get a close look at the grain Water's not cooperating today. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I'm really liking these darker streaks, but all this is going to even out once uh, enough air gets to this. You guys should be able to see the green tint to the wood. This uh, ripple looking stuff looks like curl edge blade chatter. Unfortunately, cutting this wide, you sometimes have to run slow and it causes chatter, but it'll all smooth off when you get it in the shop. I'm going to vote this one out, the best one. Yeah. Save the best for last. I think this is the best one. I like this down here. It's my favorite part. Right here. Yeah. That's... Really, this is, the, I think, the best piece. Yes, yeah, this one has the best color, the yep. best the best grain. And, uh, yeah. I think if you match this one up with the second cut off, off the, yeah, the second cut we took off of here, I think that's going to be your best bet. Very nice. That's one, two, three, four, five, nine quarter slabs out of this. Nice stuff. Should have enough to make a really nice bar top. And that's his plan. We're going to go ahead and get these stacked up. We're not stickering because they're going to come pick up. So no need to sticker. We're going to wrap this one up and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Everybody, I'll wrap it up here at the Iron Oak Sawmill. Five nine quarter slabs, what nine and a half nine, feet long? Yep. Nine and a half yep. feet long. Beautiful stuff. That last one, that was the winner yep. for us. It was the winner. Um, the middle one's going to need a little bit more work, but that's going to come out beautiful as well. Um, but I think he's going to be very happy with this. That's going to make a beautiful bar top. But uh, we're going to get wrapped up here. The sun's almost down over the hill. And uh, yeah. hey, uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, it's down in. Should be down in this corner down here, a uh, little red thing says subscribe. <laughs> Go ahead and hit that and uh, then click the notification bell. You get a notification every time we put a video up here on YouTube. Hey, you can also check us out on uh, Instagram. We have our Instagram going along. We put some stuff over there that we don't put here. Um, pictures, video clips, other things going on at the mill. Uh, we try to keep up with everything, but you can catch us over there at iron underscore oak underscore sawmill. And also on Facebook, iron oak sawmill. Uh, the, that'll have some more content there as well. So join us there. Go ahead and make sure you follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and hey, subscribe here to the channel. And I'm not wearing mine. I'm, I am. I'm, I'm, uh, I am I'm wearing my shirt. <laughs> I'm showing the love for uh, Nathan over at Out of the Woods <laughs> and uh, wearing his shirt today. Deb's got the Iron Oak Sawmill t-shirt on. I'll have a link in the description for that below. Um, go ahead and click on that. It'll take you over to 76B t-shirts uh, to their Etsy page. Go ahead and uh, order up from them. Quality shirts, that's for sure. Yes. Yeah. I think they are. Yeah, I think they are too. Are you? I'm going to let you talk now. <laughs> hey, Deb running the mill. Let's not forget about that. Deb, Deb on the mill, cutting some nine quarter slabs. I, we try to get her on the controls as much as I can. Okay. Um, I know how much everybody likes seeing her watch. It, it's easier when she runs it. Well, not, maybe not when we're cutting slabs because we both need to pull them off. Because yeah. those slabs are what? 150 pounds maybe, the heaviest ones? Um, They're heavy. About 150 pounds. 
And uh, so, nice to have some help with those, but when we're doing the boards. I like when Deb's running the mill because we're pulling boards off, we keep rolling along, we do real well. And uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. What do we have next? Either English walnut and ash or uh, the spruce logs. Um, what do you wanna do next? The spruce. Spruce logs? Oh yeah, we gotta get some full dimension two by fours out of that and a couple of benches. So uh, we got a couple of, well, a couple of spruce logs over here we've had sitting in the log yard for a while. We're gonna go ahead and get them sawed up before the bugs get to them. Yep. So, but uh, I think that'll about do it. We're gonna head on in. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions about what we're doing here at the mill, how we're running the saw, how we're, uh, or what kind of blades we're using, what kind of tools we're using, um, just put it down in the comment section. We'd we'll be glad to help you out. And as always, Thanks everybody for stopping out. We'll see you at our next time. Take care.